I've just always been excited by science and sort of understanding how things work and more importantly asking why. I think I was one of those annoying kids that was always asking why, why is stuff happening? When I was about 12 or 13, we were learning about light and the teacher told us that things don't have intrinsic colours. Something has a colour because that's the wavelength of light that reflects off it. So if you have a red pen, that doesn't mean it's intrinsically red. It means that the, it's red light that is reflected off it and all the other light wavelengths of light are absorbed. And for me, this is mind-blowing. And I remember looking around the classroom and thinking, is no one else astonished by this? Is no one else sort of thinking that this is crazy? It was moments like that that really made me think, I've got to know more about this. My name's Debbie Bard and I work in cosmology. I've been a postdoc at SLAC for about four years now, but I've been affiliated with the lab for um, nearly 10 years now, actually, which is a long time. I work on the Large Synoptic Survey Telescope. LSST, it's going to be the most fantastic tool for doing all kinds of astronomy but I'm particularly interested in it because it's going to be fantastic for doing gravitational lensing when you're looking for very subtle distortions um, in galaxy shapes. I did my PhD in particle physics uh, when I was working on the Babar experiment here at SLAC. Particle physics is a study of the tiniest things, um, the building blocks of matter, whereas cosmology is the study of the entire universe. They're very different scales, um, but it turns out that the underlying physics behind it is, uh, is the same just the idea that the same physics that drives particle physics, the study of the subatomic particles, is the same physics that drives the universe and the expansion of the universe. It's, it's just, it's really cool. Being a particle physicist, having that experience, I'm accustomed to working with very large amounts of data and trying to understand everything that's going on within the data set, how it works, how your data is affected by the measurement and that, and that kind of thing. And so that's a really useful approach to have in cosmology because in particle physics you want to make really accurate measurements of particles and in cosmology we want to make really accurate measurements of galaxies. We're going to have to deal with a data set of maybe tens of billions of galaxies which is a humongous amount of information and so trying to understand how we'll deal with that amount of data and trying to condense it down into something we can understand that's going to take a lot of work. You have to really want to know why something's happening uh, because science is not, it's not easy. It takes a lot of work and a lot of often quite tedious work to get to the bottom of something. But once you understand why, once you sort of figure it out, you know, once you've really got down to the bottom of it, then it's an incredibly satisfying feeling. That's why we are scientists, that's why we try to understand why we do all this.